Hello. Is this thing on? Hello. It's me, Cave Town. Right now I'm in America. I'm at my grandparents' house. It's a very nice temperature, actually. Apparently it's been like 100 Fahrenheit, but today it's not that. It's something nicer than that. So I'm happy about that. I don't know how the sound's going to be, because there's like someone weed whacking over there. Uh, so I've got this. Hopefully this makes it sound a bit better. When I'm filming this tomorrow is uh, my San Francisco show. I'm really excited. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you came. I haven't been there yet, but you have when you're watching this, so thanks for coming. So here's a video. I'm gonna try and talk a bit about my previous America tour, the tour around the East Coast. I've never been to the East Coast before, and I was lucky enough to bring my best friends with me along for the ride. We went on a little road trip and stuff, and it was so much fun. So uh, I have lots of footage of that. Um, it's kind of all over the place because I'm not clever like Taha. I don't like, I don't think to make a good storyline out of it. I just filmed things as we went along. So it kind of needs a bit of explanation sometimes. I'm just going to like scroll through my photos and trigger my memories and I'll have a chat with you about each place we went to. Today is the day. I'm just finalizing my packing. It's like nine o'clock now, 9 a.m which is unheard of. I've never, I haven't seen 9 a.m.s for 20 years. I'm gonna leave at 10. My train isn't until 10.44. It takes like 20 minutes to get to the station, so I'm leaving myself for loads of time. Also, I don't even have to like be at the airport for ages, so I'm leaving myself like three hours between when I arrive and when the plane has to go, um, which is hopefully plenty of time. I think I've been told it's plenty of time. I'm just nervous I'm gonna screw up and then I'll be late or and I'll miss the fly or something. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe this is actually happening. Today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. Thanks. Our first stop was Philadelphia. We're in Philadelphia. Uh, yeah? Do you have some deodorant I can use, please? Yeah, I do. Thanks. Oh, you look very nice. Thanks, I got my shorts on. Oh, here he comes. My slippy shirt on. <laughs> oh, it's all slippy. Take on the world. Wow, you actually look... look Oh, you look like a rich boy. Oh, you look so heckin' cool. I'll get you some st sinky smelly thing. Uh, yeah, POV view of deodorant. POV view. Thanks, Robin. This is me. Who's? People on my channel haven't really like been introduced to you. You were just in a video and you were just there. I was just there playing the drums. And everyone thought you were you were a little emo boy. They did. Yeah. Who's this boy? Whose man's is this? Whose man's is this? Whose man's is this? Who's this is no one's man's. This is a beautiful little young girl and she's wonderful. Whose lesbians is this? Whose? <laughs> Whose gay? gay? How are you finding Philadelphia so it's the far? Best place I think we drove down the exact streets from, from from the beginning of Always Sunny, but I don't know if we did. That might have just been because they all look like that. Humidity is like 100%. We're literally swimming right now. We're for underwater. To it and it's like 10 at night. What time is it? Time to get a watch. <laughs> hey, anyone know any more jokes? Tom? Tom, tell a joke. Tell a joke? We've run out of jokes. What do you want a joke about? A good one. Give us a funny joke. About what? Uh, about a, a, a turtle. Okay, so there's a turtle. Yeah. He's called... He, he's, she's called Myrtle. Yeah! Oh, shit. It's That's good it. already. That's a joke. Oh! It's really good. I get it. That's... Oh, it's really good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome, everybody. 
I love my friends. Dang, look at this man. <laughs> it's like you look so classy and then you just. I bought it like three years ago, but I was too scared to wear it, so now I wore it. You look like straight out of like Hunger Games. Okay. Like you're one like of the, the judges. Part of the Hunger Games oh! The like okay. the rich part. <laughs> so we stayed in a pretty cool Airbnb. It was kind of strange because the house was like, there was like a street and then there'd be, there was nothing. And then it was just our Airbnb house. It was like it had been torn away from the rest of the street and just like moved over there. It was next to Dunkin Donuts and a Pizza Hut. And on our first night, we got Pizza Hut and it was really bad, but in a good way. Simi was adamant that they deep fried it on both sides. I don't see why they'd do that to a pizza. The top is definitely fried. Right? And the bottom, look at that, that's fried as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, maybe that's the thing you guys do here at Pizza Hut. It was good though, but it was bad, if you know what I mean. He's in jail! You got to pay He's in jail! He's in jail! Uh oh. There's ants in this, in my pants. There's ants in the house. Hey buddy. Our Airbnb also had a nice little kind of patio backyard area. It was very small, but it was cozy. And we we sat out there and chatted and ate meals, bad meals I cooked. I was kind of the chef on the trip. Everyone, oh, I think my friends just like to eat, so they were fine with whatever I put in front of them. I'm really sleepy. Yeah. Sure I don't want to take a nap, but I want to take a nap. I can't do naps. Yeah, napping I is... I can't nap either. Like, imagine if you lived in like Norway, where sometimes it's just daylight for like three months. How would you sleep? Just sleep in the daylight. But you can't because that's a nap. It's not. No! What's the longest a nap can be? If it's in the day, it's a nap. Like four hours. You I say like three it. hours. I think four. I think if you call four hours sleep, you're not getting enough sleep, mister. No, but if you went to bed at 4 a.m. and got up at 8 a.m., you've been to sleep. No, because I have a friend who goes to sleep at 8 a.m. every morning Why? and wakes up at 8 p.m. because she's in uni and she's oh, daft. No. I don't know, you tell me. But like, that's... A day Wait, she time. wakes up at 8 p.m. She has 12 hours sleep. Yeah, but then she Why? her her day is you don't need like that much sleep. Night time. I like that. I would do that if I could. No, no, no. Why not? No, no. You'd never no. get any daylight. You'd be yeah. Okay. You'd be vitamin D deficient. Luckily for me, you would never grow. You have rickets. I take my tablets. No, you don't. I was gonna make a big joke about my massive D. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we went to a river. I think it was a very well-known river, I forget what it's called. Uh, it had like a bridge on it. Your paintbrushes are afraid Your bed will be on And we just sat there for a while and it was really nice. Do you know, do you know some, sometimes chameleons lay live births? They do live births. Only what do you want about? Like they live stream it? Yeah. Oh. Tell you to fill someone else's cup. Yeah, it's fat. Well, look at that fucking huge hornet. I'm gonna kill Is that a hornet? Is that better not? <laughs> I don't think it's a hornet. It's just a big bird. It's, it's, it's over there. I'm like, there it is. I don't I'm think it's scared a of everything. It's a cool bird. Oh my god, there's so many of them coming out. Oh. And remain and stand still. What do you, what do you think? Green. Yeah. The suspended. All right, thanks. What up? Just in general. Ah, uh, I, I. Suspended that bit. Yeah. Okay, that's it's understandable. Have, Have a, a nice great day. day. Cave town machine broken. My music today. Can we get spaghetti? Italiano. There's no spaghetti in Philadelphia. Sorry. What? Oh, we're going to oh. see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really Don't do that to her. Hey, on the way home, we have a wonderful, wonderful, magnificent, tremendous, ultra, super, duper show. We can buy spaghetti. <laughs> Vegetarian bolognese from the market. Like corn mince. Bologna. 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 Or we could put vegetables in it. And I've never seen, I've never heard such a beautiful song in my life. Hey. Hey. Don't write yourself What about yeah. me and you? And we're not, we're, we're not good anymore.
Fig is excellent. I miss him so much. Fig, he's spending uh, some time with uh, my dad's girlfriend's parents at their farmhouse, and he's been watching. All the there he is. Down the road from my gig, because there was no toilet in the in the venue without like going through the crowd. So I went down the road to this pub and there was a little kit, a kitty cat and it was there and it was so sweet and fat and I love him and I miss him so much. Our next stop was Brooklyn, New York City. We had an Airbnb there too. It was really nice. It had like five double beds. So we all had a big stretch in the bed. We stretched, yes. Just down the road, there was a cat cafe where I, I always thought cat cafes were like you'd say there was an actual cafe as well. Probably some of them are, but this one was just like a you just go in and you just meet the cats. There was nothing. There was no like coffee or anything. They were all rescues. They were so sweet. A lot of them had disabilities and injuries, and some of them had like they were scared of people and stuff. But they were so sweet, and it was so wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could have adopted one. They had little kittens too, which they were feeding when we walked in, which was adorable. Whatever you want, you get it, because you deserve it. Is he very different? He's the best boy. Look how it's you. Oh, yeah. My favorite one was this cross-eyed one that would just like, it was just angry at all the other cats. And it would just hiss and go, Oh no, she's she not really happy. Just like her. What's her? I didn't get much chance to explore the city. I'm sure I'll be back to explore more. I just I had lots of boring businessy things to do. Uh, they weren't that boring. They're actually really exciting. But the gang all went around while I was busy and they had a good time, I think. It was very warm and hot, so uh, it was uncomfortable, but I think it was a cool experience for them. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask mom and see if she says yes? Shit. I am going to pull muscle if you don't get quick. Thank you. Fireflies ass. No, I don't see that. And my show in New York was at Rough Trade, which was really cool. Chloe came and I was really happy to see her. She's so sweet and she's everything I expected, which is good. Because sometimes you might meet someone online and then you meet them in real life and they're not what you expected and they're actually big assholes. But th she wasn't a big asshole. She was nice. Do a pack opening. Okay. What are we so opening guys, today? It's, um, somewhat big legend here. Opening some Shrek, Shrek trading cards. One dollar. Okay, first one is um, Fiona's legs. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, on one side we've got Fiona's legs, and on the other side we have Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is, what is oh, I love this one. We have Pinocchio screaming. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that. Little... Oh, that's cute. Them looking at the moon. Oh, and on yeah. the back it says. It has oh. the lines from the film. <laughs> Next we have them crossing the wobbly bridge. Oh, that's a sick scene. <laughs> that is don't an don't epic down, scene. Oh, yeah, <laughs> 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 This one like pokes, oh my yeah, god. Oh wait, this one guys has a question on it, so we need to take part. Oh, Why on. does Princess Fiona want to marry Lord Farquaad before sunset? Why? This is obvious, so I need a word for word answer. Because the potion Wrong. is... Wrong. Because... Wrong. She's she fucking hot. <laughs> she wants the spell to be broken before she transforms. But the best oh. thing about this card... Oh. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh shit. And I think the New York one was my best show and it was my favorite one definitely. The crowd was so so sweet. I mean all of the crowds are really sweet but sometimes they're just a bit more vocal and that just makes me feel so much more comfortable when people like sing along and they like smile at me and they're just really really kind to me. I got a gift of one of those music note things that goes wee 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 when you press on it. And so <laughs> we were playing around with that in the green room and at the show, my manager convinced me to walk out and start playing it. I couldn't really hear, but I think some people wanted the sound guy to play a certain a song, like an ABBA song. I can't remember which one it was, but I played it on the um, melod melod trombone. That's not what it's called. Oh, my automatone. That's it. <laughs> Later on, I got a kid from the audience to come up and he played the wee in pigeon, and that was so funny. That was so, I loved that so much. Practice, let's practice first. It goes. It was just a generally wholesome experience. I really enjoyed it. Oh, I forgot to say, before the show, about two hours before doors opened, when I was just starting to do my sound check, I realized my guitar was broken. The preamp inside had just fallen out and it was just flapping around in there. It still worked like I could play, but I didn't want it to be like throughout my set, you know? I'd rather that that didn't happen. Luckily, there was a music shop like 10 minutes walk down the road, so we ran down there and got it fixed. Everything was fine. The show went on. It went great. The guitar was fine. For the rest of the trip, I was happy. I made dinner for the kids. It's so yummy. We went to Times Square. It's kind of not as cool as you'd expect. It's just a bunch of ads. It's just big ads all around you. We went to the Disney store. Simi got a little plushy stitch, a new addition to the family. Next stop was Boston. We drove there in our van. That's a big graveyard. People are dying to get in. Why? Oh! People are dying to get in there. Uh -huh. That's my dad joke of the day. Thank you and good night. We were in a really nice area. Our Airbnb was, it kind of looked like it was a hotel. Unfortunately, Shannon, who was doing support for, uh, was meant to be doing support for all of those three shows, her car broke down in New, in New Jersey, so she wasn't able to come to Boston for that final show, which was a shame because I really wanted to say thank you and goodbye and stuff to her, but I never managed to. But I'm sure I'll see her again. She's a really good artist. There's links in the description to her. But luckily, we had Simi, and she stepped in, like, last minute. She was really nervous. She practiced, like, straight away, but she did so good. Oh, 
shit, where'd he go? In Boston, the venue was a bit weird. There was no green room or anything, so it was a bit uh, awkward because people would just, like, walk in and be like, ah, it's Cave Town, and then I wasn't ready. It's fine if you did that, if you're the one that would be the people who met me beforehand, but just for future reference, I kind of have to, like, mentally prepare myself to meet people, so I'd rather you waited till afterwards when I, when I know I'm going to have to do that because uh, it just, it stresses me out a bit to meet people uh, with, like, no notice, you know? But yeah, it's fine. I'm not mad at you if you did do that, but just for next time, thank you. So there was no green room in Boston, so we had to go and stay in this, like, office above the restaurant next to it, which was a bit weird. But I got to meet a friend, one of my greatest friends that I've known on Twitter for about five years, Alexis. We'd never met before, and she came to the show with her twin. I don't think I'd even, like, realized she had a twin. It was really weird. And because there was no green room or, like, backstage or anywhere I could stand for the show. Tom FaceTimed me while Simi was playing so that I could watch her. I couldn't hear very well, but I just wanted to just see her and stuff. And she did so good. You guys were so kind to her. I, I knew you would be because you guys love her already, but she was so nervous. But I think you really helped her feel better by being so nice. So thank you for doing that. And thank you, Simi, for stepping in last minute. That's really cool of you. You're so cool. I love you. So the Boston show was great and it closed off my East Coast shows for that time. Obviously, I'm doing more. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming to Philly and New york and boston if you came i really appreciate you coming and basically that was meant to be the end of my trip and then my my friends were all gonna go off on a road trip but i was so jealous i wanted to join so i did i just didn't show up to my plane and i got a different ticket leaving from chicago so i stayed on for like another week uh and we went to a whole bunch of new places that i've never been before and it was the best decision of my life because i had the best time That was my East Coast tour. It was like, literally the best month of my entire life. And I wanna say a big thank you to my friends for putting the money into coming with me. You didn't have to do that, but you did. And I'm really excited to do it again, because it will happen again. As long as we're friends, which I'm planning for it to be forever, I'll definitely take you with me again. There's no question about it. If you hadn't heard already, uh, Simi is gonna be doing support for all of my shows in November in my UK tour. So I'm so excited, that's gonna be so fun. I'm really happy that she's gonna be there. So if you've got tickets already, then expect to see her there. And if not, there's still tickets available for all of them, except for Glasgow. Um, and there's a link for those in the description. You can go buy some. Have a great time, have a great day, have a great evening, have a great morning, have a great night. I'm very happy. Thank you for watching.